Ah, yes, it's Harrier time. Indeed, it is indeed time to blow shit up. Fingers crossed, it'll be stuff and not my plane. Time to get suitably attired. There we go. So, I'm going to find a server that has <laughs> some spare Harrier slots. I'm not holding out a lot of hope today. Let's see. First 31st. Harrier! Uh, let's see. Train Harrier! <laughs> yeah, it's going to be one of those afternoons. There's going to be a lot of crafts. Wow. Well, there's plenty of them there. That'll do nicely. The reason why I'm going multiplayer is because other people, if they have the Harrier and would like to join me, are welcome to. Uh, I have my link for Discord in my channel description and I'm not listening to voice chat on my channel at the moment. Uh, however, I am willing to if you ping me on Discord and we can talk. But um, my priority will be to fly the damn Harrier or figure it out. I should point out right now, uh, this is the first day for the Harrier being launched. If you've been living under a rock in the Flight Sim community and didn't know this was launched, you're an idiot. Go buy it now before it goes to twice the price. Second of all, um, I have no idea what I'm doing with this thing. I have literally downloaded it right now. I had to... I've spent the last two hours coming home from work, eating, showering, <laughs> download, uh, while, while the DCS updates and the Harry are downloaded. I have no keys bound. This So the first half of the stream will be boring for many of you while I try to figure out what the fuck I'll be doing. Expect lots of crashes. If I can get a single weapon off during the, this live stream, I'll be happy. Vetivore! I'm doing awesome. I have a Harrier to fly today. Uh, we shall see how this all goes, though. Uh, <laughs> I'm just waiting on it to finish loading. Uh, I've gone on to the multiplayer server. I'm not sure which one. I picked, picked the first one with... Uh, I picked the first one with an open with that promised open Harrier slots. Let's see how it goes. Kebab crashes are not boring, but lo but looking at the dialogue screen while I figure out how to bind all of my stuff will be. I promise. <laughs> this is my second energy drink in the last ten minutes. I am tired as fuck. I've had a long day at work, uh, so bear with me if I if and when I completely fuck things up. Sorry, just replying to the missus. Well, this takes even longer. Vedvor, enjoy your cold water stream. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I am now a Patreon of Jack Turkey. I've been sitting in his Discord channel, and there has been, uh, or there will soon be, an update to the Russian mod pack, which will include a surface ship, the Poti class. I know! So, uh, I'm going to have to look at that tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> Kind of a busy week. I'm really sorry about how long this little thing is loading. I'm running out of things to talk about and I am full of energy drink. Deal with it. And I got kicked off the server. That's a big surprise. All the servers are going to be melted the hell down right now. If I can't get a server that will take me, I will come up with something else. Um, I'll probably just run the startup screen. Uh, fuck it. Your turn. You can get a go. Oh, no. You need a password. Fuck. Password. No, I don't want anything with a password. Protected. I don't care if it's protected or not. This one's full as fuck. Can you find the Easter egg? Probably not. Vidvor, I do have a Steam profile. It is my name, Ghostdog688. Look me up. 
Yes, Kebab, if it doesn't work, I'll have to go single player, which means, sadly, you don't get to all fly with me. The good news is, is I probably won't be flying, I'll be pancaking all over the taxiway like everyone else. I just can't wait until I get the thing taxied and started up for the guy next to me just to go right on top of me. Okay, I'm getting slotted now. Yes, I want a cot. I can have a hot pet or a cold pet. I'm going to take a cold pet because I would like to take some time to actually get this thing working. So, let's pet up for the Harrier. Expect a lot of noise until I get my sound levels right. Sorry. I'd like to be a pilot, if that's okay. This is new. Okay, first of all, I have labels. How do I turn off labels? That's bullshit. Uh, second of all, I need to close the canopy. I can't hear. Where is the canopy rail button? Looking for a canopy rail. Flood lamps. Nope, don't need flood lamps. Canopy locking lever. That's to lock the canopy. I don't need that yet. That's good to know. Lots of people flying around in Harriers. It's noisy. I want to hear. Why can't I hear? Won't you let me hear? Now, I could probably find the key fault, the key pot, the keypad bind, but I want to actually find the physical switches. Okay, that's... More flood lamps. Seat ground safety lever. Well, I don't need that right now. Oh, that's good to know. These switches don't work. What's this? Fuel shut off. That's good to know. Uh, where is my canopy rail? Can I have a vowel, please? Yes, I have a shit ton of add-ons. DCS needs to buy shares in me. Ah, uh, screw it. I just hit left control C. Because I would like to hear. Canopy handle. Good to know. Alright, let's lock the canopy because I would like to... S Why do I hear music still? I don't have two instances of this thing to open, do I? Okay, that is not good. Music. Gone. Thank you. Should not be music playing in this. George, sorry, no, I just, the handle's right here, but uh, I couldn't touch it because, you know. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> thanks, George. <laughs> Watch me fudge my way through a startup now. Uh, all right. First of all, before I can get the ramp start done, I need to have some controls made up. So let's uh, let's work through that. Now, for all of you who are about to ask that question, I have an X52. Uh, I have this little USB joypad, and I actually have a SciTech R660GT. Uh, this is a steering wheel pedal for those of you who want to look it up. I have an idea. Um, I don't have rudder pedals. I do have, I say, a steering wheel. So I think I'll have rudder pedals. But it also has uh, a gear lever lift, uh, for a, a, a forward and back sh a gear shifter on, built into the side of the, uh, the, the steering wheel. Now, I don't plan on using the steering wheel. That's useless. That gear shifter, though, I think could make an excellent nozzle position adjustment. Or at least a gear lever. So, we'll see how that goes. Uh, first of all, axes. I need to be able to move and take off. We'll start by getting rid of all of the inputs for my force feedback wheel because that is going to cause me problems. Uh, second of all, I've got wheel brakes left and right. Yes, I'll do that because I can use my rudder for my twist axis actually. Excellent. So wheel brake left on the left pedal. Wheel brake right on the right pedal. 
let's get rid of the joystick input for roll pitch and yaw because that will cause me grief. Here we go. Use TDC slew horizontal. I'll put that on my USB joystick. This is a very these axes, by the way, are as close to how I have them bound on BMS. If you're curious, uh, nozzle angle. I'm not touching that with a, with an axis. I'm hoping there's going to be physical keybinds for that because that will cause me problems. Uh, if not, I, I have something I can do. But I, I really had to, I had ideas of what I could do. Okay, so air brakes. I have. I normally have my air brakes off and on. Great. So I'll have them bound to the throttle. The, some of the throttle buttons on my X52. For those of you who have one, it'll be T5 and T6 for on and off. Bomb pickle. Oh, that's pretty self-explanatory. I have this absolutely gorgeous physical safety switch. Love that. Cage and uncage. I usually have that bound to my throttle as a physical button. Oh, I'm just catching up on the chat here, guys. Just bear with me. Make some window adjustments. <laughs> I, I imagine there will be uh, Harriers flying everywhere. I'm fully expecting that. Um, so thanks, th thanks for the pointers there, Jules. ECM forward, aft, left, and right. I actually have a very similar setup for uh, the F16. So that's fine. So I, I would normally have CMS forward, aft, left, and right. I will have those bound the way they prescribe here. It's not quite the same layout, but that's fine. Now they have sensor select and TDC, which I'm guessing is the approximate equivalent of DMS and CMS, uh, 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 DMS and TMS, which is fine because I have those bound. So sensor select aft. I'll use my hat. Oh, aft down, forward, left, and right. What the fuck is that? Okay, so no, we're not doing that. Uh, what the fuck is a uh, TDC aft and then down? What? So I have a five axis button? That's going to be useful. Right, uh, okay, so first of all, trigger, fire gun, launch sidewire, sidearm. We'll have that to the second stage detent. I'm not going to have the throttle cut off bound. TDC right. Shall do. I'll I'll stick with CDC left and right for the now. I do have a few spare buttons after all. It's not all doom and gloom. And action, no action, toggle. I have no idea what that is. Uh, Oh god, explosions in the front. <laughs> Get used to seeing that, guys. I will not be the only one fucking this plane up. Uh, trim. Now, I always bound trim to my little USB joystick. However, I'm reliably informed that that's a bad idea, However, because I'll do a lot more trim adjustments on this plane. So, put that on the view switch, and I'll put DMS on the USB point. Trim pitch down, trim pitch up, there we go, and sensor select, here we go. And Ghost Dog, if you would like to use the correct hat, that would be fantastic. Okay, so we're in, we're in, we're winner, winner, chicken dinner there. All right, so ear to gray. Ah, no, th those are mode switches that I would physically touch on the computer, on on the controls. So that's fine. I'm not needing those for Hotas because I've got. Ooh, actually, mode aft, mode down, mode forward for sidewinders and so on. Oh, nose wheel steering. Yes, I know what that does. That's fine. And I 
have not bound. I haven't bound. Oh, have I not bound? I haven't bound my A and my B key on. Actually, I wonder. Uh, actually, I know what I can put these on. Aft. Down. And forward. So my air to air modes are actually the three little buttons on the base of my throttle. So there we go. Now this is probably all going to end up getting changed. I'm fully on board with that. Uh, but that seems to me to be the really, really hot shit important stuff. And yeah, these blank ones here, I have an idea for those as well. Because I have my A key on my X52 and my B key on my X52 left free. So I'm going to consider those like how I would have on my... I was I'm going to consider those like China aft forward and down. No idea if these will actually be used very often. If they are, awesome. If not, great. No big deal. Okay, so... Uh, we've got... Nozzle rotation. Yes, this is going to work awesomely. Nozzle rotation down. Pull that backwards. Nose rotation up. We'll push that forwards. I really, really, really hope that that's not something I have to hold or hold down or pull back. But that, that's not a deal breaker if it is. Uh, let's see. Pilot and seat controls. Nah, we don't need to worry about them. Miscellaneous. Flare. Oh, yeah, there are uh, all buttons on the on the cockpit. Uh, debug, what's in there? Nope, don't want to touch them. Oh, flight control, let's get the landing gear. Wow, there's not gear light lever. That's that's stellar. Let's just have a look under the main modes. Because I'll probably be bound to something. Flaps, no. Flaps mode up, flaps mode down. Yes, I will need those. Okay, <laughs> flaps mode down. And flaps mode up. So I normally have this bound to tier 3 and uh, to th throttle 3 and throttle 4. I would normally have T1 and T2 as my gear position, but I have a funny feeling I might need these flaps powers. No, no, that's. that's no, I don't need that. That's. that's retarded. Uh, landing gear, landing gear, or just maybe it's under just gear. No, what's going on? Landing gear, here we are. Landing gear up, gear up, and gear down. Awesome. Uh, anything else that I'm totally screwing up here? Don't need any of those. Don't need those. Da, 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 nothing there. STO stop and stop down and stop up. I don't know what those are, and I, they seem really important. Uh, switch to the helmet visor for NVG and vice versa. What is that? How do I remember all these buttons? Quick trick kebab. If you fly a lot of combat flight sims, and I do, have one basic profile that you would use on everything. And then just add extra buttons to fit. So, for example, like I was saying earlier, um, A10, F16, uh, and this all have effectively one Halley switch, hat switch for um, target management, and one hat switch for display management. In the F16 and the uh, A10, it's called DMS and TMS. In the Hornet, it's uh, what did we say? It was display management and TDC. It's the same thing. Um, I have a row of buttons along the bottom of my X52, and from left to right, they have both. They both have up and down sticks, and I always have T1 and T2, the first set, as my gear. The middle set as my flaps, if applicable, and the third set as my as my uh, air brakes. The Hotas stuff. I actually still got three buttons left over and a slider. So cool! I've actually got three sliders left over. I haven't found a use for them yet. Um. We'll have to find a button I use for all three of those buttons, I'm sure. Uh, I have some ideas. I, actually, I've got one of them bound for Uncage. So I've got two buttons really left. Uh, so 
Uh, we can see how that's going to go. Pigmo, you don't have to be jealous. You just have to get your ass in and crash with me. Uh, let's see. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Don't need any of those. Let's see if I've got two more buttons left over from our, left over from this setup. So let me just have a good look. Manuel, hello, how's it going? With Thirteen people viewing me bind buttons on the horn, on the ha on the Harrier. This is going to go well. I'm going to do all this. I'm going to save my binds, and it's going to forget every single one of them, or they're going to be inverted or some shit. It's it's going to be it's going to be a battle of laughs, guys. I can just tell. Uh, let's see. Two more buttons left over, and I could really, I could, I should really do something with them. Target undesignate. Oh, okay, cool. So the nose steering button is also for undesignating things. And well, I am not a proper pilot, so that is probably going to happen. Uh, <laughs> uh, Gavin, I noticed that as soon as that happened. I was like, yep, yeah, I'm going to get used to seeing that. I'm probably going to make a few of my own holes as well. Kabad, go get your ass a job, then learn to fly the Harrier. <laughs> it's like pilot ejecting. Yeah, well, at least he's not dead. Okay, so... Let's assume some basic keybinds. Yes. So, hello, Hornet. Hornet. Harrier. God, they had to, they both had to begin with H, didn't they? Uh, right, let's, first of all, let's load up the sidearms, because that's new and shiny. I will not be doing a vertical takeoff, okay? I haven't, I haven't learned the symbology for the HUD yet. I can guess it. Uh, I will give myself... I'm not giving my fills. I could give myself fuel tanks. It's tempting. I don't plan on being in the air that long. Rock eyes? Yeah, rock eyes. We're having them. Bombs. I can carry two rock eyes? I'm not sure if that's realistic, but I like it. And pods. I can carry the lightning pod under the, st under the station three and four. That's cool. But gun pod. I mean, <laughs> duh. Jammer. And let's just even out the loadout and give myself, huh, Mark 81s, huh? Oh, why the fuck not? 250 pound bombs. Why the hell not, right? Fuck it, toss them on. Board number. You know my board number. It's 688. It always is. <gasps> I've got so many liveries. I'm a happy man. Okay, back all the fuel. I'll need all of the fuel. Well, yes, I'm going to try to take off like a plane first before I start trying to take off and show off. Yes, kebab, I get to carry a 25mm gun. <sighs> oh dear, he's not going to end well. Or that's some... Yep, no, that didn't end well. I thought that was some Mondo desync, but nope, that's something to get used to. Planes just hovering midair, and they're meant to. Okay. Once this guy actually decides to, you know, load his fucking engines up, actually, I know what the problem is. Right. Two seconds, guys. I'll be back in just a moment, and then we'll see how we go.
And the back. Yes, the seat is very detailed. I hope you got to count all the stitches. God for that. Ooh, like the little chippy bits. Definitely looks well worn, doesn't it? I think, well, I I always go full retard. I've got new plane I've got I've got new ordnance to try. First, I think we're going to need fuel. Let me get fire without that. Out. Enjoy Figmo. I'll see you soon. Okay, so Step one, I'm going to power, I think. Okay, so I've got to actually hold that button down. That's not a big deal. Pigmo, if there is, I haven't found it, but I haven't really looked either. I'm just going to stare blindly at the cockpit until the solution presents itself to me. 
Generally speaking, you need fuel, then you need power. Start with the APU generator, huh? There's a battery. <laughs> that would be a good idea. Flashing lights and loud noises. Marginal improvement. Let's look for RPMs. Warning, warning, warning. And so far it looks okay, B3. I mean, I'm running a GTX 680, so it's not exactly like I was expecting much. Uh, okay, well I'm not going to turn on that sort of stuff yet. Okay, I need to check that I have a throttle idle detent, that's not the one I want. Well, the A10C was originally based on an A10A, which is, once again, 60s, aircraft. Uh, let's see. Idle detent, idle detent, where is your idle detent? Where have you, where have you gone? Right, Windows and T for the cough. There we go. Okay. Go. Okay, so we have Alright. Start going through bits, please.
about. That's why IFF is probably not modelled anyway. Why am I messing around with it? Okay, so we're getting somewhere. Okay, that's not bad. I don't think I'm doing too, a terrible job of figuring it, trying to figure out how these things work. Oh, uh, I'm sure there's an INS of some description here, around. Right, uh, ground alignment, yes, we want that. Now let's do a quick function test of the stick. Yes, that's in there, that's fine. We're getting on right there. Oh, I can rotate a bingo light. I don't. Stores, there we go. Okay, so I'm starting to get the hang of this, I think. Try to find the selector. Here we go.
cartridge. Okay. No problem, Figma. Sorry if I've not been the most chatty. Probably just adjust my controls a little, since I don't appear to have a throttle anymore. Yep. Oh, shit. Warning, warning. 
What did I do? that on this I think because why not No problem, Gavin. I'll try in my best. Right now, what I'd like to do is actually, you know, start moving. It is very possibly time to fly. Okay, so throttle back. I guess it's up to five hundred RPM. It doesn't seem to let me go past this stop here. Aha There's a parking brake and that also stops the engine from trapping forward. Well, the more you know. Well, whether I like it or not, I'm taking off now. Oh dear. Well, looks like we're doing a vertical takeoff after all, because I'm an idiot. 
Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. off hmm. oh no oh no 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 Oh, I most certainly have sc screwed up kebab. Okay. Ah, it's not. Gears not a problem. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Oh dear. I am so sorry, mate. Oh, there goes the first crash of the day. Okay, so the harm star should be a little bit faster now, hopefully. Two points. Right. Okay, so 
I realise I've not shown very much at the moment, but it's clear I need to actually look at the manual. So I'm going to look that up and I'm going to get back to you in about 20 minutes to half an hour just to quickly read through this, make sure I'm not missing anything really dumb. Because the ramp start procedure, I kind of fudged my way through and I'm not very happy with that. So I'm going to catch that in a little while and uh, hopefully I'll be a little bit more familiar with it. For now. Take the full chunks. Alright. That's a great way to end, I think. <laughs> Catch you later.